how to integrate and use Shopify with WordPress. Hi there, in this video we will learn how we'll be able to connect or automate our WordPress website into our Shopify online store. So first thing that you can do is you can open your webs, um, WordPress account and then from here what you can do is go to plugins right here on the left side panel of the screen, right between appearance and users. Click on plugins and then here you'll be able to see that there are a lot of plugins that you can use for your website. So what you can do is go to the search box here, right here, and then just type in Shopify. When you type in Shopify, you just need to look into WP Shopify, that is the second option here where it's free free for a few days, but you need to have a domain or a uh, you need to upgrade in order for you to be able to activate the WordPress Shopify here. So you need to upgrade and activate it, but you will be able to uh, make use of this integration from WordPress to Shopify. But another thing here is that you can actually go to your Shopify account. You can go to your Shopify online store and then you can search, go to the settings. And then on the left side panel of the screen, you can click on apps right here. And then you will have this drop down button and then just click on apps and sales channel settings and then you'll be routed into this page what you can do is click on the shopify app store button and then you will be redirected into shopify app store's website from here what you can do is go to the search box and then just search for wordpress and once you have typed that in just click and enter And then from here, it will provide you results and then you can use the WP Simple WordPress feed as the, um, in order for you to integrate Shopify to your WordPress. So when you click on this application, you can click on add app. And then you can browse on the features that you can use. And as you can see, it only has seven day free trial. And after that, there will be recurring around $5.90 per month. And here, another option for you to be able to integrate Shopify to your WordPress is that you can go to Zapier. Zapier is actually a platform where it allows you to connect two different apps and it will automatically automate or as what you call it here in Zapier, it creates a zap between two applications. So you can log in using your Facebook, your Microsoft, or your Google account. Once you are signed in, this is how it would look like. So you can create a zap here. And what you can do is you need to click on this button, create a zap. And then from here, it will route to a page where you need to create your first trigger that should be wordpress you need to type that here on the search box and then it will provide it will provide the uh, applications that you can use here into the account Here you type in WordPress. And then once you have WordPress here, you will be routed into this page where you need to sign in into your WordPress account. But before that, you need to create an event. So let's say you want to create a zap. Every time you create a new post into your Shopify online store, it will, or if you post or create a new post in WordPress, it will automatically create a zap or and it performs it and updates that into your Shopify store. So here, once you create an event, you will need to sign in into your WordPress account wherein you need to fill out all these details like the WordPress URL value, 
you need to input your username and also your password. All of these informations are required so that you will be able to create or make a successful connection between these two applications. Here, just wait for it to load. And when I inputted the password here, it actually had an error where they're not able to connect to our or my WordPress account rather. So what you can do is that you just need to make sure that you have the correct details on what information you will incorporate into your login here so that you'll be able to successfully connect to your WordPress here in Zapier. So the second action here is that you will include Shopify. So what you can do is just type in, in the search box like we did earlier and then type in Shopify. And then from here, what you'll need to do is look for an event. Since you had a new post for you to be able to update that here on your Shopify. So what you can do is you can use the event as new product. So the new post that you will create on WordPress is related to a new product. So once you're done there, you can just need to sign in. Or if you had previous connection with Shopify, you just need to re-update or re-authenticate your WordPress online store. So you can preview your online store and just type or copy the first part of your website's hyperlink and then paste it here. And then just click on yes, continue to Shopify and then you will be routed into the Shopify app store and then you can just click on install app so that you'll be able to connect your Shopify store to your Zapier account. So once that is done, you can go back to Zapier and then when you click on continue, you just need to fill out the details here. So all of these details like the title, the product, the pricing, the product type, these are actually details that you can fill out once you had a successful test trigger onto your WordPress account, which we did earlier, but since it currently does not allow me to create or connect successfully with my WordPress account. Here, what you can do is just, you can just fill out all these blank spaces and then create a account here or fill out all these details so that you will be able to continue with the second action and successfully create a zap between these two applications. Once you have filled out all these details, you can just click on continue and refresh or finish required fields. And then you will now be able to create a zap between two applications. So you will successfully integrate your Shopify and your WordPress account. And that's basically it. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.